Hey guys, Michael Troy here. Today we are looking at the last cyborg story in Tales of the Teen Titans 56 through 58. Vintage classic. Cannot wait to show it to you guys. We got the Fearsome Five. We got Cyborg turning into a human. I mean, what the heck is going on here? Cannot wait to share it with you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. Okay, so this is Tales of the Teen Titans, uh, formerly known, the artist formerly known as the New Teen Titans. Um, uh, this is after George Perez has left the building to go do the Baxter series, and uh, there was, like, other artists who followed him. Chuck Patton being one of them who drew this art, and I, I love this art. Um, I feel like he's one of the more underrated artists Great classic comic book superhero artist. Um, love this color. Uh, would have liked to have seen him inked by somebody else than Mike DiCarlo, not one of my favorite inkers. I feel like he just brings nothing to the, any art ever. <laughs> Sorry, no offense. Uh, beginning this issue, The Last Days of Cyborg, cool cover with the return of the Fearsome Five. I have to say, have you ever noticed that, like, because uh, it happens to see through bo all the time, like, if there's a character who can be ripped apart without being, like, destroyed um, and put back together again, they're always, like, losing their limbs or something like that. Like, it's kind of horrifying in a way. Like, say, like, Raven here, she's made of flesh and bone, so they, you can't just rip off her arm for a dramatic cover. You know what I'm saying? Superpowers collection. Oh, my God. Were these not amazing? I mean, yes, they were. It was a rhetorical question, guys. Marv Wolfman, writer, editor. Chuck Patton, penciler. Go, Chuck. Love your art. So good. I He came under my radar again when I was looking at um, the Who's Who in the DC Universe Omnibus. And a lot the, he has a lot of entries in there. And uh, he's still active. Like, he posts art on Facebook and stuff. And um, almost in the same house as John Byrne. Hard to tell with these horrifying uh, Mike DiCarlo inks. But... We'll see what happens. Chuck Patton, penciler, Mark DiCarlo, Inks, Albert T. D. Guzman, letterer. And I am loving these freaking letterers. We know that name. Adrian Roy, colorist. Um, I mean, you're going to follow George Perez, and he is killing it. I mean, he's got the Kirby dots of uh, Azareth or the Soul World or wherever the hell Raven is right there. Like, that looks so good. The teleportation is on point. I mean, this looks great. In a way... It, it could very well be just because uh, uh, Mike DiCarlo is such a horrifying anchor that it kind of almost looks the same as when he inks George Perez because he has no range as an anchor or something. I don't know. I just don't like it. I mean, look at the weird lines. Star Labs. Always love that design. I mean, this is so good. Look at this great storytelling. Um, the detail is just, like, amazing. Um... It's funny how much, I was just looking at some post, I think it was you, Eric Larson, um, showing, like, why comic books take so much longer to draw now, and, like, showing a simple boot from, like, the 70s on Captain America to, like, an Ultimates, where you got the laces and the eye holes and stuff like that. That said, I mean, there's a lot of detail going on here, too. So, I mean, I just feel like, you know, there was you were able to put this much detail in on a monthly basis because you didn't have social media to, to distract you. Okay. I do love this era of the Titans. I mean, even though Perez is gone, it's still fun. They're still sort of intact. Like, there's the Fearsome Five and Other Glory looking so great. Shima and Simon. We love these character designs so good. I love Simon with his see-through skull cap. I'll never forget the image of him getting his glass dome shattered. I think it was in Crisis on Infinite Earths. I was, like, shook for real. Um, everyone looks so good. Like, what a great job Chuck Batten did. I mean... Uh, you know, it's really hard to, especially, like, with the costumes that Perez designed to make them look correct, and I don't, I, you know, it's like uh, Eduardo Barreto and 
Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, amazing artist who followed, um, you know, Perez on the Titans Baxter series, probably get a lot more accolades. Um, I'm loving this. I mean, oh, that is so great. What a great page. I love that. That is so cool. I mean, and of course, uh, uh, Vic's grandparents to the best supporting characters. I think that's, you know, the Titans as well as like Chris Claremont's X-Men. One of their strengths is like their supporting cast. Like they have such like likable, like real grounded characters. I think Mammoth, that's his name. I always enjoyed his costume too. <laughs> I think I'll dress as Mammoth for Halloween next year. Would you cosplay as that? I don't know. Hmm. I may already have the harness. I'm just kidding. Supergirl. Supergirl is a really good movie, you guys. Like, I don't care what you say. Like, it's one of the best comedies I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't get enough of it. Like, if Faye Dunaway didn't get an Academy Award for Mommy Dearest, she certainly deserves it for Supergirl. Mm -hmm. They are really pushing the super powers collection, aren't they? And they, as they should. <laughs> I mean, you know, you get stuck inside a wall. It sucks. I hate to see the Titans defeated. It always, it's always so funny. I mean, and that was the downfall of the Baxter series. Is we knew, I mean, if they were still alive in the Baxter series, nothing happened in this one. Hex. And if I, okay, so we're looking at issue 57. Oh, see, Patton and Tang Hall. I hope to, Romeo inks the inside of this because I love the cover so much better already than Mike DiCarlo's inks. Um, what a great cover. I mean, look at all this detail. I have to point out the artistic juxtaposition of you've got Cyborg fully human again, looking good and feeling fine, by the way. And then... You've got the juxtaposition of all this, like, machinery and circuitry. Well done, Chuck Patton. Well done. Hex. I wonder if that's worth checking out. Texiera? No way. That art looks so good there. Okay, now it's totally worth tex checking, texting out. Because Mark Texiera is such a great artist. And this is very early for him. And you can see, like, those thick, juicy lines and that great shading. I love it great zip there too so amazing oh my god i love this this is so like uh like 1950s sci-fi movie the big reveal like cutting off the bandages could you imagine it <laughs> they did a riff on that um what was that uh that lois lane story where she turned black like they cut off the bandages and he's white or he's a woman that's what it would be today in the woke coach they're like, we know you were trapped in the wrong body. And he's like, oops. You know, like when you go into like those, like uh, those stories. And it's usually a hospital in Florida where you go in to have your foot amputated and they do the wrong one. <laughs> Our bad, sorry. Um, my other favorite <laughs> plastic surgery horror story is the bodybuilder who wanted to get pec implants. And he like, first of all, he wakes up in the middle of the surgery, totally disoriented. The footage is horrifying. I think it was on Geraldo. We're so off topic here, but I'm gonna keep on going with it. And maybe this is what my station, my station, my channel will become known for is my off the rails stories. Maybe it's already known for that. I don't know. So anyway, he wakes up and he was supposed to get pec, pec implants and they gave him boob implants instead. And for some strange reason, he had to live with them for like a year or whatever. I don't know why, but Google it, people. Google it. Such great art. I love this. Did oh, we skip past the credits page because I was telling my inane story. Marv Wolfman, writer, editor. Yes, Chuck Patton and Romeo Tang Hall, artist. The, so much happier. This art looks so good. Like, he's such a great artist. Like, this is, like, he has all the great skills of a, a classic comic book artist. Like the perspective is so good. The anatomy is amazing. The storytelling is completely on point. What else has Chuck Patton drawn that I need to find you guys? I think 
Like there must be something else. Philip, you know. Rafi, you know. Tell me. Chuck Patton, you're, are you watching? You know what else you've drawn. Guide me. I love this page so much. Like, the, here's the Titans pool, and they have, like, a holographic wall. I mean, obviously, that could happen now, like, a big LED wall where you're, like, looking at this gorgeous sunset. That pool. And then you've got Jericho giving you a back rub poolside. And then, of course, Corey and Dick in the hot tub. Corey and Dick in the hot tub. Here comes Changeling. Shaking out the water like a wet dog. I'm, is Corey naked? Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? She's like, Corey, please. I mean, who hasn't seen her naked by now? She should have just been naked. She's like, I'm Tamaranian. We like to be naked. But isn't Earth colder? Maybe, you know, I don't know. Once again, I'm rambling. Love these layouts. This is so good. I love this. This is just like, such solid comic book art right here. So this would be like the movie montage. You're getting stronger, cyborg, faster. So basically what they do, just give them metal legs with flesh patches over it or, I don't know. I promised I would never call him this again, but Disco Nightwing. It's not Disco, it's a trapeze outfit. I don't know if that's a good argument. Like, it's like saying, it's not disco, it's an ice skating outfit. Oh, oh, okay, sorry, my bad. <clears throat> Mask, remember that, guys? I mean, I remember the ads, but that would have not appealed to me on any level whatsoever. Yeah, let's see. Pencils by Mike Chen. That name sounds, like, vaguely familiar. Probably worked on like a independent comic books or something. A log as preview for such a bad book. Was it in 3D? Cool effects. Oh, Supergirl. Do we have one more? I think we do. Because the S is going to hit the fan in a minute, you guys. And when I say S, I mean shit. All right. So here we go. I think this is the last one. It better be because this is the last one in my pile. Anyway, the Fierce of Five, so cool. What was, was her name, like Jinx or something? Marv Wolfman, writer, editor. Chuck Patton, Penciler, Romeo Tang Hall, Embellisher, Neutron is Free, Bob LePan, Letterer, Interesting, love Bob LePan's letters, Justice League International, his teeny tiny, I need a frickin' magnifying glass to read your damn small ass lettering, Bob LePan, but it looks nice. How cool is that? Oh my god, like, remember old people? when the Statue of Liberty was like under reconstruction. I wonder how she's doing now. That was a while back, guys. She could probably use a little touch up, don't you think? They should just <laughs> put her in like full makeup. Give her like a sexy revamp. Or what, what do you think? How could, how could they remake? Like obviously, <laughs> like it's such a bad idea. You don't want to with the Statue of Liberty, but I don't know, put a wig on her. Coolness, how cool is that? Oh my God, Chuck Patton. See, that's what I feel like comes across in certain comic book artists the like that they love to draw because this panel is killing it right here. This is so on point for like Harbinger and the Monitor and oh, there's the scene I was talking about. Oh, did it already happen? And I was just talking again. After he had his head blown off. I mean, and they don't even mention that this is like a Secret Wars or Secret Wars. They don't even mention that the Teen Titans are in Secret Wars. Can you believe it? A new town, a new beginning, a new member. Yes. 
I love The Outsiders. That should be coming up soon. Or did I already do that? I don't remember. Oh, I think I did Batman and The Outsiders, but not, not adjectiveless Outsiders. Yes, this is good stuff, people. I did really enjoy these issues, I have to tell you. I can't lie, and why would I? Next issue, the story you've demanded, how it all began. Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, because I think that was, that was it, people. Then it went to reruns, reprints. 57 and 58 the last cyborg story you can see how that went anyway thanks for watching guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that like button and i will bring you more soon